every state, almost every state, um, probably over 40 states, require um, in their rules, so this means you could be cited if you don't do this properly, require in their rules that porous items be um, thrown away after a service, and non-porous items, typically meaning things made of glass, metal, and plastic, can be disinfected and used on another patron, another client, all right? Um, but they have to be disinfected prior to every single use. We'll talk about that in a separate video, but to, right now, we're gonna make a decision on whether something has to be thrown in the trash can, or it can be properly disinfected. The other question is if it can be disinfected, what's the right container, all right? So Melissa is going to pull up, they've got their little basket here of things that might have gotten dirty or have been used in a service, and we're gonna make a decision as a group, can it be disinfected? And if so, which is the right container? We have a jar and we have a tub. All right, so let's see what we got in the basket. All right, let's go with our handy dandy roller brush. Roller brush, all right, big item. Um, what do you guys think? Can we disinfect it? Yes. Absolutely, it's right? Expensive. I wouldn't want to throw it it is made of all synthetic materials, so it can be disinfected. There's nothing porous on it. But what container does this properly go into? What do you think? Um, well, because of the length, it probably wouldn't fit in this one, so. So let's say it fit here. All right, so here's the deal. The other thing here is this pole, right? There's no way that that round brush can fit into this container, right? So yes, we're gonna disinfect it, but we're gonna have to disinfect it in, a, in a, some type of container um, that doesn't pro pro prohibit it from being fully submerged. All right, what's our next thing? Uh, maybe some rubber gloves. Rubber gloves, okay. So those gloves look like nitrile gloves, something you're probably wearing a lot of these days, um, COVID precautions and all. And those gloves, once they're dirty, they're a one-time use. So when those are dirty, what do we think? Do they go get disinfected or do they go in the trash? trash we know where those sure. go. Those are one-time use items. All right, what do we have next? Uh, next strip. Next strip. What's it made out of? Paper. Paper. So porous water would go through it. We could absorb water with it. Um, so that makes that a porous item and that goes in the trash. Nail file. Nail file. Here's something we want to talk about. On a nail file, you might find some that on them say disinfectable or sanitizable. A disinfectable label on a nail file does not make it disinfectable. All right, if it is made out of paper products, it is a porous item and it needs to be what? Trashed. Trashed after every single use. Now, some states will allow you to give that to me if I'm the consumer and I can take it home, right? I can use it at home as my nail file at home, especially if you were using a full size expensive one, but I can never bring it back, all right? I can't bring it back and ask you to use it again on me um, in any state, all right? So a nail file goes, in, especially one that's made of clearly a paper product, goes in the trash, um, but I can take it home with me, all right? Next item. How about a pair of shears? Okay, so let's talk about these shears. I touched those shears when I was putting them in that basket. I was like, oh, these are really nice and they're really smooth. I know that shears cost a lot of money and I know that you guys are concerned about them. What is your inclination to say with these shears? What do you What do you want to tell me you want to do with those? What are they made out of, first off? Metal. Metal, which makes steel. them non-porous. So, in our rules of porous and non-porous, what would I be telling you I think you should do? Disinfect. Disinfect. What do you not want to do? Rust. Make them rust. <laughs> Make yeah. them rust. Okay. So that's a big concern. I hear that everywhere. Like everybody is concerned about putting them in the disinfectant. One of the things I want to point out to you is that if you're concerned about your shears rusting, what makes metal rust is water, right? You wouldn't leave those shears sitting outside on a rainy day, right? Because what would happen to them? They'd rust, right? Because it's the water that causes the oxidation. The chemicals that are used in barbicide, for example, have a rust inhibitor in them. It prevents them from rusting. So the important thing when you are disinfecting shears is that you do what? What's the most important thing? Adhere to the contact time, right? 10 minutes. They come right out at 10 minutes. You don't leave them sitting in there all afternoon, over the you know days you're off. You take them out and you make sure that they are properly dried when they come out. So we're gonna put that one in the disinfectant and I think actually this, we're not gonna put it actually in, but this one could go in this jar. So you just set it right there. So that one will disinfect that one. We come back and do the disinfecting segment. Perfect. Uh, next thing would be a cuticle pusher. A cuticle pusher. Now this one is orange wood, normally called an orange wood stick. 
You might have a metal one. If I had a metal one, what would I do? Just some fact. fact. Just some fact. But this is a wood one, so trash. Trash, trash it goes. Next would be a comb. Comb. All right. Which comb made out of? Plastic. So that makes it non-porous. You don't want to throw that away. Probably you want to use it again. That could go in either container. So we'll just set it over here, and that'll get disinfected um, to be used again. This is a little like makeup. A mascara brush. wand type or a brush? Applicator. It's just an applicator. Like an applicator brush. All right. Now, what's it made of? Well, plastic. But plastic. But what is it made to be reused? I don't no. think so. Okay, so this points out a really good thing. This is made of plastic, so technically it could be disinfected, um, but this weren't really made to be disinfected. That's made to be a single use item. So, in a pinch, could you disinfect it? Yes. But are you going to probably disinfect those things? No. Nope. So they're gonna go trash, trash. in the trash. All right, hairbrush. Hairbrush. This isn't really that much different from our round brush um, in terms of what it is, um, but this one would fit probably in either one of these containers, and it's all synthetic. I've got a quick question for you. What if you have a brush that is natural bristle or bristle brushes? What do you think about that one? Do you think we should disinfect that or no? Do you think it's disinfectable? What do you know about hair? Is hair porous or non porous? Porous. 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 What about hair on a boar? Porous. porous. So, technically, a natural bristle brush would be very um, difficult to disinfect because it is porous. Do I want you to try? Yes, but it would be more difficult to ensure that it was properly disinfected. All right? But those brushes, um, we're going to clean the hair out and, and then we would disinfect them. All right, what do you got? What's next in the bucket? These are little like cotton spears, I guess. Okay. Might use those in facials. Mm -hmm. Many things, nails, yeah, maybe, over. all kinds of places. All right. What do we think about those? What are they made out of? Um, <laughs> cotton. Do you want me to reuse them on you? No. No. You trash. would like me to throw them in the trash. You all know that I was a nurse for a lot of one, a lot of years. You wouldn't want me to come in and pull out gauze I used on somebody else, right? Yes. All right. Is that right. it? Last oh. but not least is this little wooden stick. Okay. Waxing. That little wooden stick. You just said it. We use it for waxing. And if you've ever seen me speak uh, about waxing services, the biggest bane of my existence is the reuse of something like that, right? Because when you reuse that stick, what you are doing is taking any type of um, fungus, bacteria that's growing in that wax and that's, or on the surface of the wax more likely, and moving it to your client and then moving it to the next client and the next client. So that stick goes where? Trash. In the trash. If I didn't want to use these sticks and throw them away every time, what's an alternative? What's something else I could use? Um, there's two ways I could do it in the waxing room. One of them is I could use a different type of spatula. What kind of spatula could I use that I could disinfect? Plastic. Plastic. A plastic or a metal spatula, right? And then I could disinfect. I could have a little jar of um, disinfected plastic ones. Use those, one for each dip, and then disinfect them all at the end of that service and use them again. A little more time consuming, but it would work. Um, and the other alternative is that you could take wax and put it into a single serving, like a little cup, and use the same stick. Because now I'm only going to this cup and my single client, and then everything goes in the trash at the end, right? That makes sense. All right, anything else you guys can think of that might be a question, whether I use it or I throw it in the trash? The only other thing you would have in a service, everything goes either in the trash or it gets disinfected. And the only other thing that would not fit into those two categories are your linens, right? And those are going to go into your dirty linens and get washed, right?